Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed since last time. Mike Huckabee is a transphobic sack of garbage. After the story of Caitlyn Jenner's transition broke, video was released on YouTube of a speech given this past February to the National Religious Broadcasters Convention where Mike Huckabee calls efforts to protect trans folks from discrimination a, quote, social experiment and says that he wishes he could have gotten in touch with his feminine side when he was in school so he could have taken a shower with the girls. Why are transphobic fucks like Huckabee so preoccupied with bathroom privileges? All of his self-righteous moralizing kind of loses its edge when you realize that trans folks are fighting to be accepted for who they are, while Huckabee's main objection to it seems to be, but where are they going to pee? Grow up, Mike. School withholds diplomas from students for wrestling at graduation. Two high school seniors in Miami, Florida, decided to make things interesting during their graduation ceremony. One of them crossed the stage holding up a replica of the WWE Championship belt, and the other ran up and dropped him with a stone-cold stunner. Because of the stunt, these two seniors did not receive their diplomas during the graduation ceremony. Oh, they'll still get their diplomas, but only after the school has a chance to meet with their parents. Because... God forbid graduating seniors have any fun at all on their last day of fucking high school. Graduation ceremonies might be the only thing more boring than weddings. I have never, ever attended a graduation, including my own, that would not have been immeasurably improved by somebody taking a stunner on stage. School fires kitchen manager for giving out free food. The kitchen manager at Dakota Valley Elementary School in Aurora, Colorado was recently fired for giving away free lunches to students who had no money. The students who received these lunches were not from families with incomes low enough to qualify for the federal free and reduced lunch program. They simply had forgotten their lunch money that day and their school charge accounts were maxed out. The fired kitchen manager estimates that she gave away around 20 such free lunches in the past year. Now, what she did was a violation of policy, so technically speaking, the school district was justified in firing her, but isn't a policy that allows for someone to be fired for feeding hungry children a policy that ought to be changed, like now? Woman charged with murder for aborting pregnancy. A 23-year-old Georgia woman was arrested and charged with murder for taking abortion-inducing medication to terminate her pregnancy, which was approximately five months along. The murder charge was subsequently dropped when the district attorney realized that the statute under which she had been charged specifically prohibits women who terminate their own pregnancies from being prosecuted for murder. Well, that's embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as living in a civilized country in the 21st century where women can still be charged, however fleetingly, with murder for deciding to end their own pregnancies. Cop pulls gun on unarmed teens at pool party. Jesus fucking Christ, what is wrong with people? Friday before last, a fight broke out at a pool party in McKinney, Texas. Police responded one of whom took it upon himself to stalk around the scene, ordering the teenagers present to either get lost or get down on the ground. Video of the incident shows no signs of violence from anyone there other than this one cop. The other officers visible all appear to be relatively calm and reasonable, and the teenagers mostly seem scared and confused. At one point, this officer, whose name is Eric Casebolt, throws a teenage girl to the ground, puts his knee into her back, and pulls his gun when several of the other teenagers begin to gather around. Case Bolt has since resigned, his actions have been condemned by the police department, and an investigation into his conduct is ongoing. So, once again, I suppose I should consider this some form of progress? No one was killed? The lunatic with the badge lost his job. The police department disowned him, so... <sighs> Good? At this rate, these sorts of incidents will only have to happen a few hundred more times over the next several years before we finally get a handle on this police brutality problem. The hardest part is only picking five.
Catch you next time.